Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia and I want to ask you a question. Have you been experiencing some really deep, what feels like some deep purging going on with you and it sort of feels unexplainable? Let me ask you this. Let's kind of check a little list here. Do you feel slightly sick? Are you feeling a little bit sick? Might start in your throat. That could be an upgrade of some of the glands here. It doesn't feel like an upgrade. You've got the parotid gland. You've got the ones that people call the little globes here. And there's a lot of organs in here. It's a part of your immune system. This is a part of what happens during equinox, prior to the equinox, like prior to flipping the switch for a new season. You can get a little sick. There's also environmental factors such as high pollen counts, things are dying, there's a lot of harvesting, allergens, things in the air, um, wildfires, you know, there's other factors. But it can generally make you feel a teensy bit sick, maybe not full-blown sick. But it can feel very physical, and there's a reason for it. It's deep. It's what I'm calling 5D clearing of deep things, deep things. That's sort of a broad statement. Hey, who are you calling abroad? Just teasing. Who's paying attention? <laughs> so deep things. What does this have to do with? It's very unexplained. So you can feel like you're having dry heaves. You might feel like barfing. It reminds me of those little chameleons that like go, wah, wah, you know, and they just, they're just heaving, right? They're actually trying to digest, and that's not us, right? We want to do it smoothly. We want to enjoy. We want to get to the good stuff. Diarrhea. Does it feel like your gut just suddenly, like, you're like, oh, oh my God, I need to be close to home. I don't know what's happening with me, and everything just, like, starts to liquefy for you, okay? This has a lot to do with war okay these are past connections to war not past mentalities these are past like actual results of maybe your people had to go to war your culture had to go to war um there was an invasion i mean this has happened all over we can't play the blame game because from 5d we just want to start getting it cleared pest okay as a result, what takes over? Well, the vermin usually comes in to start, you know, the salvage project. And, you know, there can be illness. There could be, you know, not sufficient anything. I mean, we're not talking about top nutrition in those days, right? We're not talking about, um, you know, things that are, it's just gross. It's gross stuff. And this includes seeing gross stuff, okay? Now, maybe you don't need to re-see this. Do you need it burned into your retina again? No. Does your soul want you to get this out so that what you fill with is actually love? Yes. Okay, so there's some no things here. What are we saying no to? What are we saying yes to? Do you really need to see what happened? Do you need to analyze it? Do you need to know why? Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia and I'm located in Chicago and my channel is about ascension, including some of those mystery symptoms that people get that I have explanations for even when it's not explainable. There's some simple things for you to do. And in order to do these simple things, I'm going to say, can you do a cleanse? Well, if not, you can get my inner healing book. Getting the inner healing book, this is going to be very helpful for you. I want to just show you this. Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing. In here, I have how to juice. Okay, it's very good for Twin Flames to learn how to juice. We are not juicing just to juice. There's a lot of benefits that come from juicing. But one of the things that can benefit you is utilizing juicing as a tool to help you to do a cleanse to get rid of the things that are living in the gut so you can fill with love, which 
essentially is remove the stuff, fill with each other. I mean, it's that simple. I make it easy to do. In my book, I have outlines. I have juice formulations. I have reasons. This also includes ancestral healing. And this is for everyone. This is one of the books that I wish I had in the beginning that I kind of had to fumble through and kind of piece it together. And I make it very concise, give you simple instructions to follow. When would this be handy for you? Well, when you get the book, it's very good for any full moon, any new moon, any eclipse of whatever magnitude. This is a super moon that we are having. The super moon is going to really amplify things, but it's not the normal things that you really think of, like mental connections, mental emotional connections. This is deep in the gut, like deep in like history kind of stuff. If you would like to really learn about this and find out what to do, I am having a webinar because if you have not learned how to pro properly surrender, let's put it this way. Every season change brings an opportunity for change. Okay, the season is changing. What are you changing with it? What is changing on you? Well, some simple ones around this time of year, particularly you know, in the United States, Canada, Mexico, it's called back to school. <laughs> Who needs a back to school boot camp, right? I mean, it gets so stressful. Your diurnal rhythms change, the light changes, so it affects you. Your eating habits change, you're packing lunches, or you're not eating like you would have if you were at home. And sometimes we don't even eat that well at home. I, I know some of you, I, I get you, I get you. This is something else that a cleanse or a juice cleanse can help you with. Now, I'm not talking about doing a 10-day water fast. I don't agree with those. It's not properly done by a lot of people, and I'm not going to advocate it because I'm not here to be a doctor and monitor you, especially if you have an impairment of some kind. What I am here to help you to do is integrate your new light body so that from that you get clarity from that you feel the aspects of what's healing what are you purging what are you getting out what is literally being yanked out of you what it, i mean it's like a set of cables like right where you're cleaning some things up in a really fell swoop here because why? Because love is swift. Love is relentless. It's going to keep scouring you and scraping you out and, you know, till we get to the bottom of the barrel and there's no more dregs left. There's no residue from some of these really deep things because a lot of it's painful. It's caused pain, it's caused discomfort, and it's caused chronic illness, cancers, you name it. You have a new body that does not, it's not equipped to hold those things. Your brand new twin flame body is equipped to use your divine connections. So what is our webinar about? Well, it is happening at the Equinox. It is mainly about surrender and change. And when you join my webinar, you're going to get your choice of book. You can get the other one or grid work and your new life. If you don't know how important your heart is to this, maybe think about this. Why is it that so many males have a predominance of heart issues as they age? More and more, we're pulling away from that old paradigm and those strings and cords of connection that once supported us, they're falling away. People's metabolisms are messed up as a result. Our own vision is messed up. It's not messed up. It's not supported from 5D. And so we're in this huge transitional healing segment that'll take place for maybe a couple more years. But for some people, it's been taking place for the past four years. How you know this is if you're feeling these things, you're very much on track to do this and to be in this. Now, have you felt discouraged? Have you felt as though, like you're just like, I want to give up. I don't know what else to do. When you join my webinar, I give you the what to do 
we activate things for this season going forward to the next one. And we also give you tools so that not only do you have your what to do, it's usable for you again. Now I have people that join uh, very much like monthly. We do these in three segments and there's a reason for it because the first segment is get it out or unplug. The next one is transition and the next one is level up. It's very simple. It's almost like three steps. We meet three times. That's what takes place, but there are different topics. Learning how to properly surrender. I'll give you a summary of what should surrender truly be. It's doing what you can humanly do and then getting out of the way for your higher self, your soul to take over to do the things that you cannot humanly do for yourself. Now, what I have seen over the years is this includes resolution of court cases, resolution of issues with your children or things with them, issues or resolutions with some kind of chronic illness. These things didn't all go in overnight, didn't happen overnight. It's going to take you more than overnight or one session, one segment to do this. This is very new, but you're being given an opportunity to do some clearing very swiftly and thoroughly. And particularly when you follow the instructions, you up level. That's the difference is there is a next step to it. There are next things to do, which is why I give you this. Your grid down here has to be supported from other dimensions. One example is childbirth. Okay. The conception of a child is supported from another dimension from the fifth and the ninth primarily in the old paradigm. So if you've ever wondered why are some people infertile, other people are just like breeding like rabbits and you scratch your head and you say, uh, why is that? Why are some people seemingly deprived and other people have no hindrances whatsoever? It's where they're connected and it depends on how much of this work for the light body that they have actually done in a previous life or lifetimes because some people have done that. Some people have accomplished certain levels and they're simply here to pick up their karmic things, pick up and, and go and get on with it. Other people may just be beginning, okay? I don't make any distinction between the two because even if you feel like an old hand at this and you feel like you've done this and you know, you're good, you got this, you're gonna have another cycle that up levels you to your next dimensional foothold for further support. And I have uh, some stories that I share in the webinar and here's what I love. I love when we do the Q&A session and people ask questions. I allow crosstalk. I allow people to talk. People have made friends. They've made connections. Even if you show up and you just like listen, you're going to hear that other people have similar or same issues. Nobody's love story is exactly the same, but the issues that we deal with down here, how does this affect women? Okay. How does it affect a woman who's maybe not menopausal? How does it affect a woman who's menopausal? Well, it can seem like the same thing, but for someone who's menopausal, this could be very alarming. This could be feeling like, oh no, I've got colon cancer or something like that. Now, here's a really cool thing that happens with your body. You get feedback from it. So I'm not just talking about your human body. I mean, your light body, your brand new twin flame body gives you feedback. And this is when you say to yourself, it feels like this. Now, if you tell someone in the medical community, they may call it psychosomatic. Okay. The psycho is not psycho. It is psyche. This is part of your psyche, which is why you need grid work in your new life. Your psyche is, I call it the passion body. It is your passionate, subtle body. This is for like the deep passion. Why would we go to war? Oh, you're a patriot, are you? Oh, your twin flame is a patriot? They felt so strongly about it. They felt passionate about 
defending their country. Yes, of course, this does happen. But it affected both of you because that meant war, pestilence, um, deprivation, uh, years to rebuild, like all kinds of stuff. Relocating. I mean, these are things that are forgotten in history, but they're not forgotten in your gut. They're not forgotten in your emotions. They're not forgotten in your dream time. Oh, we love to talk about dreams in my webinars. Love it, love it, love it. I invite people to share their dreams because when we start doing the work, they get very revealing dreams. In fact, so much information comes through in the dreams. It's amazing and it's fun and it reveals things and it clarifies things. I want you to do this because it will bring clarity, not because it's easy. I make it as easy as possible because it's clarity and it clarifies your path. It takes away that feeling of inertia where you're just like, now what do I do? I, I don't even know what else to do. What door is opening? What door is closing? What's going on anyway? Why is this thing taking so long? I don't feel okay. I feel unsupported. Where in God's name I feel like I've been left at the bus stop, right? We don't want you to feel that way. We want you to feel supported, loved. We want you to get your clarity, get your messages, get that etheric love touch. Get the things that can only come as you surrender. Surrender is not rolling over and playing dead. Surrender is not going around dating other people while you wait for your twin flame to show up. Surrender is not like just white knuckling it with your spouse. You can work on your light body even if you're married. And I've had several married people in my webinars throughout the years. And I'm not gonna, I'm not a home wrecker. I'm not gonna tell you, hey, go leave your spouse. Okay, there is a timing of such things and there are agreements and you can certainly conclude a soul contract and make a new one so that things are as harmonious as possible with someone who maybe they're just not the one, but they're a good person. They're good in their own right. And here's something else. They belong to someone too, just like you do. You have an agreement to maybe see certain things through. You can still work on your twin flame body. It worked for me when I was married and it was happening passively. I mean, I was having these things happen in my nighttime. It didn't intrude really like at the breakfast table. I once had someone who told me that their child, <laughs> oh God, even children are in on it. They kind of know that their parents are, some children, they just know because they are a part of the agreement. Anyways, this person said, that their child came into the breakfast and said, Dad, when are you going to be with my new mom? Because I dreamed that mommy died and then my new mommy came in place. And I think that's who you love. Like something really simple and childlike because they were a child. And for children, that is simple. As we age or get older, we tend to complicate things. Let's make this simple. I like to say, kiss it, keep it simple and sweet. Join me. We are starting on September 22nd. Oh, geez. <laughs> September 22nd. We're meeting the 29th and October 6th. Okay. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Start working with us to really gain the tools and the expertise to properly surrender. Because if you don't think that 2025 is bringing change, it is bringing massive change. People are being shaken and cleared out of their complacency. They really are. Today is National Voting Day in the United States, and I would like to encourage everyone and encourage your kids, vote. That's all I'm going to say. Get out there, exercise your right to vote, okay? Because we have those rights that... You know, as a United States, and I'm just going to say, we got a lot of growing pains, but it's when you don't do the things that you could possibly do, like some of this stuff. How do you not know it's not going to get better? I want to encourage that. I want to encourage you to join, surrender, and change. 
This takes a village. This is sanction. It's not going to happen unless people participate. Please be a participant in your own twin flame journey. Okay. Let me know uh, which one you would like to. Please check the links below. And there is a code here to join this. For the first eight people that join, join us. We're vastly different. I've had many people tell me this. And I want to encourage you to expand and feel and feel the love. Because don't forget the main thing. This is about love. Relentless, passionate love that thinks you are the cutest thing in the universe. Okay, have a good day. Bye now.